Hey Gut Lovers and welcome back to another video. In recent years, a few posts have gone viral on social media featuring cats with extraordinarily large muscles. Some of the photos look so unbelievable they have led many to question, are these cats actually super jacked or is this just an internet hoax? If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's explore the rare but nonetheless real condition that can cause cats to have extra large muscles. What is myostatin related muscle hypertrophy? Most of the time, the cats featured in viral Reddit or TikTok posts for their seemingly unreal muscles actually have a real congenital condition, myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy. This is a rare disorder that impacts an individual's fat and muscle mass production. To understand myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy, it is important to understand myostatin's role in the body's development and functionality. Myostatin is a protein coded by the MSTN gene. It is almost exclusively found in skeletal muscles, which are the muscles that enable movement. As the name suggests, skeletal muscles are attached to the bone and are responsible for movement, posture, and balance. There are a few different proteins that are responsible for managing skeletal muscle growth. Some proteins encourage muscle mass growth, instructing cells to multiply and expand. Other proteins inhibit growth, instructing cells to slow down production. Myostatin is known as a negative regulator of skeletal muscle mass, meaning it inhibits muscle growth rather than promoting it. In a normal system, there is a healthy balance between negative and positive regulators. Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy occurs when there is not enough myostatin production. Therefore, there are not enough inhibiting signals to balance out the encouraging signals for skeletal muscle growth. The result of this is muscles that grow excessively large, Individuals with myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy usually have around twice as much muscle mass as they would otherwise. Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy is caused by mutations in the MSTN gene. The MSTN gene is responsible for providing cells with instructions to produce myostatin. Mutations in the MSTN gene can lead to a reduction in the production of myostatin. As a result, there is an overgrowth in skeletal muscle tissue. The severity of the muscular overgrowth depends on whether the individual has one or two copies of the mutated gene in their DNA. Everyone has two copies of each gene in their DNA, one inherited from their mother and one inherited from their father. If the mutated MSTN gene is inherited from just one parent, the condition is considered heterozygous. This means the individual has one mutated MSTN gene and one normal MSTN gene. If the mutated MSTN gene is inherited from both parents, however, and the individual has two copies of the mutated gene, their condition is considered homogeneous. Cats with homogeneous myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy are usually the cases that are reported. In these cases, the muscle growth is so significant that it is difficult to overlook. In heterozygous cases, on the other hand, muscle mass will still be more than usual, but it's not likely to be as noticeable. So in sum, myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy is excessive skeletal muscle production due to a mutation in the MSTN gene causing a deficiency of myostatin. Myostatin, as we've discussed, is a protein that inhibits and regulates muscle growth. As the name of this condition suggests, this muscle disorder is myostatin-related. The other part of the name, hypertrophy, simply means the excessive development of an organ or part. Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy in cats. There is little scientific research about myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy specifically in cats at all. While there is more research studying the condition in other species, like humans or cattle, it doesn't seem like many efforts have been made to understand how it manifests in cats. In terms of actual scientific data, we know quite little. How frequently myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy occurs in cats or whether or not it is more likely to occur in certain breeds than others are relatively unknown questions. Hopefully, more research will be directed towards this in the future. But for now, almost all our knowledge known about the condition as it occurs in cats is anecdotal. To understand more about myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy in cats, we have to turn our attention to social media, where it has been most widely discussed. One case of myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy has gone viral on Reddit since it was initially posted in 2021 by user bsmith2123 to the thread r slash damn that's interesting. A photo featuring a hairless gray sphinx cat with significantly prominent muscles was posted with the caption, a house cat suffering from myostatin-related hypermuscle trophy, a rare condition that causes muscles to grow excessively large. However, despite their wording that the cat is suffering from the condition, as we'll go on to discuss, there are actually no negative repercussions on the health of cats with myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy. The post went viral, amassing 88,000 upvotes and almost 5,000 comments since originally being posted. 
Another similar post went viral on Reddit more recently, posted to the same thread by the user CuriousWanderer567. This post, also featuring a Sphinx cat, but this time wearing a gym tank top, has over 42,000 upvotes and more than 2,000 comments. Both of these posts and more have been reposted across various social media platforms, from Instagram to TikTok, amassing countless views, likes, comments, and reposts. As for why many of the cats featured in these viral posts are Sphinx cats, we don't entirely know. There is no evidence to suggest that myostatin-related hypermuscle trophy occurs more often in Sphinx cats than in other cat breeds. Perhaps it is just that the condition is more visible in Sphinx cats as their hairlessness allows for the muscles to look more prominent. Whatever the case may be, it seems that Sphinx cats are more commonly seen in discussion of myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy in cats than in other breeds. While this doesn't necessarily indicate that Sphinxes are more predisposed to the condition, it is an interesting observation. Let us know in the comments what you would name a super ripped cat. Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy in other animals. Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy does not exclusively occur in cats. In fact, it likely occurs more often in other animals, or at least we have more documentation of it occurring in other animals. The muscular condition has been documented in a wide variety of different animals, from cattle to rats, it even occurs in humans. In cattle, myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy was first recorded way back in 1807 by a farmer named H. Cully who described the condition as bovine muscular hypertrophy. In fact, there are entire breeds characterized by having myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy. Piedmontese cattle, originating out of Piedmont, Italy, are a breed of cattle that all have the muscle condition. They aren't even the only cattle breed with the condition, though. Belgian blue cattle also have myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy, and their increased muscle mass has led to the breed being highly valued in the beef production industry. There is also a subset of the Whippet dog breed, known as Bully Whippets, who also have myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy. Because of their increased muscle mass, these dogs often make for excellent racing dogs. In fact, one study found that 12 of the 41 fastest Whippet dogs recorded had at least one copy of the mutated MSTN gene. The same study concluded that Whippet dogs with myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy are significantly faster than dogs without and the study was the first to quantitatively link the mutations to increased athletic performance. In other words, a dog with this condition would smash that like button with no hesitation. Is myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy dangerous? As far as we can tell, myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy does not have any negative repercussions on a cat's health or general well-being. Aside from being super muscular, cats with the muscle condition experience no negative side effects or other impacts. Cats and other animals afflicted with myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy are not known to have decreased lifespans, abnormal intellectual functionings, or other related medical conditions. So, it seems that the condition is relatively harmless. In some cases, like with the Bully Whippet or the Piedmontese or Belgian Blue Cattle, it actually seems to be beneficial. Most researchers agree that the heterozygous version of the condition is preferable. Though, this is not to say that the homogeneous version is in any way dangerous. Rather, having just one copy of the mutated gene seems to encourage enhanced athleticism, while two copies of the gene can have too much muscle, causing it to become limited on athletic performance rather than helpful. However, in general, possessing one or both copies of the mutated gene is not thought to be dangerous or harmful. Similar Condition Hypertrophic Muscular Dystrophy while myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy isn't harmful, that isn't always the case with muscle disorders in cats. Another more severe muscular disorder is hypertrophic muscular dystrophy. This muscle condition can actually look very similar to myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy at first glance. Both result in hypertrophic or overgrown muscles. However, in the case of hypertrophic muscular dystrophy, this is a compensatory response. The condition causes a deficiency in dystrophin, a protein that strengthens and protects the muscles. A lack of dystrophin leads to very weak muscles. To compensate, the body produces more muscle mass, leading to the appearance of big muscles. Unlike with myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy, the large muscles in this case is indicative of an underlying issue. One case study presented in the Journal of Neurological Sciences studied the effects of hypertrophic muscular dystrophy in two domestic short hair litter mates. By the time the kittens were five months old, they were showing symptoms of the muscular disorder. Both kittens exhibited similar symptoms, having decreased activity levels, walking with a stiff gait, and bunny hopping. Already, the difference from myostatin-related muscular hypertrophy is clear. Cats affected by hypertrophic muscular dystrophy have a clearly impacted quality of life, unable to move around and walk without difficulty. 
Even worse, the condition is often considered fatal. While the condition itself is not lethal, it often causes health problems that are. Cats with hypertrophic muscular dystrophy often develop life-threatening complications like renal failure, extreme difficulty swallowing, and the inability to breathe. In the case study mentioned earlier, both kittens were unfortunately euthanized before the age of two years due to extreme health issues they were experiencing. There is still more research surrounding hypertrophic muscular dystrophy in cats since it is so harmful. It has been found that the condition most often occurs in male cats since it is linked to the X chromosome. Further, it occurs more often among domestic short hairs than any other breed. However, it is still considered a very rare condition. Now that you know about these rare conditions, we invite you to check out one of these possum videos next. We'll see you there, cat lovers.